What's up, Grizz fam? We back at it again. And uh, what I wanted to show you guys was um, the difference in my squats. Now, if you've been paying attention, um, I have a very narrow stance for a guy my size. And um, with powerlifting, it's, it's all about drawing power up at your most optimal position. Now, being that I'm so narrow, I really don't draw a lot of power out of my hips and my glutes. Um, and that stems from, you know, injuries. I have lack of mobility in my ankles. Um, uh, what else? My piriformis is extremely tight. What, um, you know, my hip flexors are extremely tight where it's to the point foam rolling, taking a, um, taking a lacrosse ball to it, rolling on top of that does not break it down, does not do it justice. Um, it's where I need, um, manual therapy to actually loosen up the muscles and then rehab by activating it. And then, you know, being able to move through the planes of motion. And um, here, this was a Monday workout where I was at 425 or 435. I was supposed to do four sets of six. No, four sets of eight. And I think I was only able to get like five. And literally, this was like five o'clock in the morning. And my knees sounded like popcorn in the microwave. Um, and it wasn't painful. It's just a lot of cracking and popping. And I know that stems from my quads being extremely tight, my calves being extremely tight, and lack of mobility in my ankles. And I was actually squatting in uh, converses. It, it was just horrible for me. Literally, I probably only got through three sets. On the fourth set, I did one rep and I was done for. And this was a workout that was done on a Friday. And you see that my shoes are different. I'm in Ollie shoes, Olympic lifting shoes with elevated heels. My squat stance is a bit wider. And then I was also, um, the bar is a bit lower on my back. Cause if, you know, the previous clips, I was at a high bar, according to a couple guys who squat low bar, the bar is kind of high underneath my traps which is still pretty high low bar you literally you literally want it on you know the back of your rotator cuff like on top of your rear delt or below it and you're leaning forward and it was just very awkward for me because i'm not used to having the bar that low then you can see my wrist is at an awkward angle where there's a lot of pressure sitting in my wrist um the stance was weird for me um because I'm not used to being so wide just because of the range of motion of my hips. Um, but I can tell you guys, like, you know, that was my first time trying true low bar, um, trying it in Olympic lifting shoes, and I felt more powerful coming out of the hole. It was just that, you know, I had three, no, I had four sets of eight at 350 pounds. I was only able to muster up six reps for the sets um, just to get used to the form. You know, you know, as the sets went on, it felt better and better. I felt more powerful in the lift, but literally um, it, it's it's tough and it's very frustrating for me. You guys, you have no idea how freaking frustrated I've been for the last three effing weeks that I, I can't seem to get a groove on the squat. I seem that I feel like I'm getting weaker because I can't seem to pull through a workout or hit the amount of reps and sets that I need to at a certain weight. And even when I drive, you know, bring the weight down just a bit, you know, 20, 30 pounds, I still feel weak, completely weak. So, you know, that's my mindset straight up right now going into this meet like, I can't explain it to you guys because I feel like, you know, I want to pull out because I don't feel like I'm at my best. I feel like I'm literally going downhill to the point, you know, you guys know my bench press is ass. 
it's a weak lift of mine and it was just working through that and then getting through with deadlifts and working on my form because even my my deadlifts has dropped and i'm trying to work with double overhand hook grip um and it's not as explosive as it was when i was doing over under you know you guys see my max week video where i was repping out 500 my max pr then was about 600 pounds no straps no belt nothing and um you know that is my frustration right now but i am about a little bit over eight weeks out a little bit over eight weeks out so i'm gonna give it time i'm gonna be patient and keep going with it and i'm back to my monday clip here where i was doing deadlifts this was about 400 pounds i believe and uh, you guys see i'm working on my hook grip and the thing that I noticed with my deadlift is I could set up all I want, but I seem to be slightly rounded in my thoracic spine, like the middle of my back. When you see me bring my hips down, you still see a little arch in the middle of my back, which is something I want to fix. I, I can tighten my shoulder blades, bring my shoulder down, you know, get the perfect setup. But literally, it's my um, adductors are so tight my hip flexors are so tight that literally bending over i'm at the range of motion at the end of my range of motion and then literally my hip starts to go into a posterior tilt um meaning that literally i start to my back starts to arch because it can't stay straight i don't have full power coming out of it so you know when i went back to my friday workout and deadlifted i had um my physical therapist, my massage therapist, all in one, watch me lift and, um, you know, give me some tips and to work on my technique on driving my hips into the bar and picking up my chest at the same time. You know, um, you can see that, you know, my shoulders aren't, my shoulders aren't rolled forward. They're actually sitting back and it's trying to tighten everything up where my back doesn't have a tremendous arch. Um, I definitely felt more powerful this way, even though I felt my hips were a bit tighter, but that came after squatting four sets of six reps that also came and that came uh, after, you know, 45 minutes of literally foam rolling, stretching, warming up the hips, all of that. And that's my frustration, you guys.